Um, hi, so I'm Claudio Jecker. I'm the lead developer of OpenBGPD. Um, for people who don't know OpenBGPD, it's the BGP implementation that is part of OpenBSD. Um, we're doing that now for 15 years. Um, it is um, a pretty good uh, BGP implementation. Um, so uh, for most users, this is actually good enough. But I will look um, at one thing here, and that's uh, OpenBGPD for Internet Exchange port um, uh, points root servers. Um, root servers have a little bit of different, um, uh, they have different needs. And um, if we look at the history up to about 2010, OpenBGPD was uh, very often used by root servers because uh, it had a few nice features. Uh, as an example, templating um, to make their lives a lot easier. But then the internet changed and people started to realize that just running internet exchange points just on trust is no longer actually the thing that people want to do. And so um, internet exchange points really started using filters to, to make sure that nobody is actually um, hijacking or leaking any routes. Um, the result of that is that uh, since then, running OpenBGPD with full uh, filters is uh, becoming too slow. Um, we have this issue that uh, the, the, the original design um, is now about 15 years old, as I already mentioned, and um, it starts to have trouble scaling, especially with the number of peers that we see at big internet exchange points, but also uh, with the amount of, of updates that are now actually running through um, uh, these systems. If we look at the small internet exchange point, like the one in Calgary, um, we see that even, even such a small internet exchange with about 80 peers requires easy over 300,000 filter rules and because of that, uh, very simple operations like a config reload or restarting the systems can take up to one hour to actually finish. This is, this is uh, absolutely unacceptable. And uh, because of that, uh, there have been kind of a, a, a bird monoculture happening at Internet Exchange Points. Now, um, I think everybody knows that monocultures are not really good. And, um, because of that, um, people started to start looking into alternatives again. Um, especially uh, Job Snyders uh, actually kind of approached me and said, hey, we have this open BGPD, let's, let's try to make it happen again. Let, let's bring it back. Um, and uh, he then asked me, would you actually work for um, full time on OpenBGPD and it took me about 15 seconds to answer with yes. So um, he then managed to actually get funding to actually make this happen and I'm really happy to be here and say that like um, since June I'm actually working full time on OpenBGPD um, mainly thanks to the RIPE NCC Community Projects Fund but also um, I think a lot of the internet exchange points, um, and all of them are actually kind of European internet exchange points, are contributing as well. So a big thank you to all these people. Um, now, as I said, I started working on this in June, um, and we released OpenBSD 6.4 uh, just more or less start of this month. Um, and let's have a look what actually happened in this short time until then. Um, I put here a few of the key points that I think are the most important ones. Um, first of all, uh, we changed the filtering policy in OpenBGPD. It's now a default deny policy, so you need um, to allow something, uh, allow a prefix in and out of the system to actually make it going through. Um, this, is a, this is a big change, and people who are actually running OpenBGPD at the moment, they should be careful when they update, because um, it's quite easy to trip on that. The other big change that we did, or the new feature that we added, is RPKI ROA support. Um, this is one of the things that is really important, I think. Um, 
It is based on a static table, it's kind of similar to, to what uh, BERT in the version 1 has. Uh, we don't really support RTR support, but uh, you can import it into, or, or you can write a little script that kind of creates the static tables and then reloads the, the configuration. And um, my test system, or my system that I'm, I'm running, uh, they're normally doing this uh, reloads in, in, in a couple of seconds. So this is, this is um, very quick. Um, another feature that we added is uh, so-called sets. Uh, sets are lookup tables. Uh, they're lookup tables for prefixes, for AS numbers, and for origins. Um, the origins are kind of the same thing as the ROA table. Um, they kind of bind a prefix together with the source AS. And with these things, uh, it is possible to rewrite actually this huge uh, rule set that is normally generated by, by a tool like a route server. Uh, into something very small, and because the lookups are extremely fast, they normally are also not, uh, no longer an issue. Um, the other thing that we did is uh, a lot of the the, um, the code was was doing stuff um, kind of synchronously. So when you did a um, a reconfiguration or um, a peer came up, a lot of the of the events actually were running in the foreground. So updates got blocked until, until that was finished. Um, most of them are now running in the background, and because of that, we have now the benefit that withdrawals and updates from other peers are normally processed um, along the side with, with doing all these other things. All in all, um, we did over 150 commits uh, since uh, OpenBSD 6.3. As, um, as it says here, it's about 8% of all the commits. Um, this shows that actually this funding was uh, very successful and, and, and that a lot of work happened on OpenBGPD. Looking at the results, um, I'm using here the Calgary Internet Exchange because there we already have this running. Um, before uh, it was running 6.3, as I already mentioned, it used around 370,000 filter rules. Um, which a route server was generating. Now with a with um, updated a route server and um, running 6.4, um, using now all these new features, we're able to actually reduce the configuration to about 6,000 filter rules. Um, this is a huge change, and um, it is kind of visible um, as soon as as uh, as you look actually at the time it now takes to actually become uh, responsive again. So after a restart, uh, the system converges now in less than two minutes. That means after two minutes, all sessions are up, all prefixes are um, processed, and and the system kind of stabilizes itself. Um, I think this is a, a a very nice start for for a small um, internet exchange with with about a hundred peers, and um, it's a good number. Also. The configuration reload, which beforehand was taking easily about 30 minutes, is now done in less than 10 seconds. I think this is the other um, great step forwards. Um, so from now on, um, I think OpenBGPD can be slowly be started to be considered again. But um, there is more. Um, I think in the next six months, um, a lot of the time that I will spend on is uh, on a few topics. Um, the first of all, um, making the community filtering better. Um, at the moment, uh, it is not possible to filter on more than one community pair rule. Um, so this is one, one of the things that I want to change. And because um, tools like Aroute server, but also uh, a lot of people are starting to use in community a lot more heavily in their, in their rule sets, um, setting and deleting of communities, kind of this tagging that you do during your, your evaluation needs to become a lot faster. Um, I've seen that we're spending quite a lot of time uh, during that. Um, we have um, other things planned, um, which is probably making the filters even better, um, and especially starting to look into the rib uh, refactoring it and making the multiple RIP support that uh, especially the internet exchange points uh, want to have, uh, make that again uh, a lot faster and a lot better. Last but not least, um, I think resurrecting the portable version is something that is also um, requested by many people. 
Um, that means that it runs on other BSDs and also on Linux. Um, at the beginning, there will be a few features that will be not available, especially there will be no FIP support. But um, I think over time, we will also start to try to add that again. So um, this is what we expect, or this is what I hope we're able to actually bring uh, into OpenBGPD in uh, OpenBSD 6.5. Um, but there is then also kind of the future project, which is for the time after that. Um, at the moment, uh, my three main goals that I would really like to work on are, first of all, um, bringing multi-threaded support into, into um, OpenBGPD. Um, we're having these issues that there is now, most servers uh, come with a lot of CPUs, but we're actually only using two of them, uh, one for the session handling and one for the root decision processing, and we would really like to actually use more of them. Um, I would like to make the portable version more complete, so add FIP support at least at the beginning for, FIP, uh, for the BSDs, but also then for Linux. And um, then also looking into new features, so stuff that um, there is already RFCs out or where there is drafts and we think they're actually very important. Um, I have here a few, lists, uh, a few things mentioned, like uh, BGP add path or BGP multipath. Um, BMP to actually make the monitoring even easier, and RTR support for our PKI. Um, but to make these projects happening, um, this needs more funding, as in um, I'm currently paid until end of May, um, so uh, up to um, more or less like the 6.5 release, and then afterwards um, I would like to kind of carry on with that, but for that I need to have again um, some of the money. Good. Um, I want to thank uh, to these organizations and also to Job Snyders who actually um, made this kind of possible by talking to a lot of people and uh, making them prom promise mom money. Um, and yeah, that's it. Are there any questions? <laughs> 